we're almost here. We got to go down to the bottom of this hill. There's a valley down here with a creek that runs straight through it. It's going to be prime for coyotes. Last time I was out here, I saw a bunch of canine tracks, so it should be good. What? That's sinkhole. What'd you say? Sinkhole. Sinkhole, yeah. yeah. There's another, there used to be one down here, too. Yeah, no coal mine. Yeah, let's take a look here. In the 1920s. Looks pretty nice. We're going to get down here. Find us a couple spots, put a couple traps. I don't anticipate catching anything. It's really a few weeks from now when I'm really going to hit it hard and put out about eight or nine traps. So, yeah, let's get down to this creek here. So, this right here, you got to think about funneling, funneling them in to work the set. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. This right here is perfect because I have a, a log here and a log here. And so the only way that they're gonna come in is from right here. So if I put my dirt hole set right there, there's a good chance. Yeah, you're right, if you come here and look, it looks like a trail. Yeah, there's a trail right, right through here. here. Yep, you're right. And I see- yeah, I, it goes like this. Yep, and the last oh time I was God. here, before the, all the leaves fell and you could see yep. everything. See over there? Uh-huh. All down. Yep, what they do is they come here and then they cross the creek over on that side. Mm -hmm. And over there where it's really muddy, you can really see their tracks. Yeah. So, from here, let me get some of this stuff out of my pocket. Put my phone down. Okay. Now from here, what I'm going to do, and what we're simulating here is another animal has found something, and they're burying it, saving it for later. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. we're going to clear all this out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they'll get curious. They'll get very curious. Okay. Now they're gonna smell human. They smell it all the time. But what you want to do is just overcome that with curiosity. Yeah. You want this to be uh, the smell coming from. You want to make it so obvious that something has been buried in there that they don't care that they smell human. They're digging it out. Okay. And as they're digging it out, you hope that they put their foot right on the pan of that. Should uh, you fluff the ground? I'll show you here in just a second. Okay. That's what that whole thing there of uh, peat moss is for. Okay. Really, I use peat moss. Really, you wouldn't need to use peat moss right now. That's for when the ground is really frozen. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's going to be the last thing we do right now. So I'm just going to clear out a nice spot here, make it look like there's been an animal here. Yeah. And which trap do I want to use? I got way too many of them here. How about, how about this guy right here? Right. This long spring here. I think this is a sleepy creek. Yeah. So, actually no, let's not use that one. Let's use, cause I'm gonna have to double stake these. Yeah. I normally use earth anchors, which I'll show you that next time you come out here with me. Okay. But I forgot all my earth anchors and everything. So yeah, we'll just use these ones that are double staked. That's yeah. not the one, where is it? Everything can get lost yeah. pretty quick out here. There we go, that's the one I want right there. This is a duke trap. Now what are you using as stakes right now? I got these here. Amazing. Awesome. Yep. Okay. And see, let me show you. Right here, the double stake system. And they go in at an angle. This one will go like that. Yeah. And then this one will go like that. Sort of like shooting trim in. So it, so it does. Crack. Basically, if you only uh, put one stake in they may still be able to pull it out but since you got two of these in there like that yeah. they're not pulling this out no yeah definitely so all right so let me get all these back over here okay now we're just going to dig a dig a bed dig a couple of inches out and all these roots out you don't have to dig it real deep yeah. Just enough. Actually, we may not even need to use that peat moss, but I do want to get all these roots out of here. Okay. I've mean, never trapped before, but the, I understand what you're saying. Like fluff the ground so it makes it like some. Yeah, you want to make there. it look like there's been an animal yeah. in here. And then to set this. Because as cold as it is, they're probably hungry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And they're saving food for later. Yeah. You know what I mean? So from here, we're just gonna set this and leave that weak jaw up. 
Yeah. You can as long as you have that weak jaw up and you press that, you're fine. Okay. You see what I mean? So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and stake this to the ground. And that's why I like using this groundhog tool because it's many tools in one. Oh my god, right. Yeah. I can dig my dirt hole where where I punch a hole in to set all this stuff down in there. Especially since this ground is really soft, yeah, the tank. you really want to in there. Oh yeah. <clears throat> All right, so the camera died. I'm hoping it's just the battery, because the battery's back at camp, but it still said it had two bars, but it will not do anything. So let's just hope for the best. We may, may not even have a video this week, but I hope you've seen everything up until this point. We're just gonna put some of this nasty stuff on there. We're gonna shove it down in the hole. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Yep. And then we'll just shove that all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Huh. Now, from here, let me put this up. Put that nasty stuff up. And we're just going to spray the whole set down with coyote urine. And put all my stuff back in here. It smells good, don't it? Okay, so spray down the whole set. Where my knees were. Try to cover up my scent. All right. Now, like I said, I'm not anticipating catching anything tonight mostly just practice and to kind of show you Robbie thank you've you never done this we'll never you do the next one if you want thank you I, I'm just gonna watch you so okay when I do do it I don't I, I don't look so dumb <laughs> you're all right you got this all right, love. all right sorry about skipping all over the place on this I'm not sure when my battery died but we made it back to camp got another battery and then headed back out here again but I went ahead and based on everything I told Robbie, told him to uh, pick out a good spot and he picked this out and it is good. It looks like there's a nice trail that runs right through here at a U. Comes down from the hill, comes right through here and then over there. And uh, it's hard to see any tracks because there's so much leaves on the ground. Yeah. But it looks like it could be coyote. It's uh, definitely a smaller animal. I would brush some back to look, but then it would leave my scent, so I just yep. want to leave it alone. So do you want to try this one? No, I, I want to walk, I, I walk you. I want to so. walk you through one, though. That's the best way to learn. I know. I just rather you. I want to catch him, so. Okay. Well, that way I, want I don't know if we'll do that tonight, but we'll get we'll get one eventually this winter. Yeah. So we're going to clear some of this out. We have a natural backstop here. Mm -hmm. You see all these sticks? We're going to yeah. save those, and I'll show you what we do with them here in just a little bit. main problem you may run into is roots down here yeah but we'll see what we got first first I'm going to punch a hole right here see if I can get it all the way down in there my main thing is I want to make sure there ain't no roots right here yeah perfect so far so good Save that dirt. Clear all this out. And this is perfect because it kind of comes up. Mm -hmm. See the problem I had with the one before, it's almost, the dirt hole is almost level with the pan. You want the dirt hole to be up a little bit. So this is gonna work out just fine. This may even be a better spot. This is a good call here, Robbie. Thanks. So, so you get the idea. I'm not been trapping, but I've been tracking. This is how it looks good. Yep, that's it's your it. specialty. <laughs> Also taught me how to do that. Yep. So, kind of at an angle. I kind of put my uh, trap at an angle from there. So we're just mm -hmm. going to dig it out a little bit. We're going to use a coil spring on this one, I think. So, where's it at? There it is. And this is a Minnesota brand 450. This is perfect for coyotes, foxes, things like that. Yeah. So, 
get my stakes out. First, I'm going to see how it fits in there. Oh, I'm going to put great. it kind of an offset. So yeah. we've got the, I'll put it a few inches from the hole yeah. and then offset it a little bit. So I'm going to put that just a little bit closer there. <clears throat> okay, so that'd be a good spot for it right there, I think. Yep, I think that'll do. So first, let's get this bad boy staked in the ground. going to be too soft but it's it ain't coming out no no oh, no that ain't coming out no. okay so set this one might help if i have it the right way there we go now get that jaw all the way down get that dog Sausage fingers, bro. Sausage fingers. Yeah, my fear is to get my hand caught in it. <laughs> okay. All right, now that we got that set, this has a night latch on it, and I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. Okay. Hear that? Oh, yeah. That's okay. for if you're setting it at night. And it's set. Yep, and it's set, and it's perfectly level. These come perfectly level. You don't have to adjust them at all. Okay. So let's get some dirt down here, some loose dirt. That way we can really... Pack that in there. Yeah. Get some dirt over here. Some dirt right there. Bring some of that down. Shove it up underneath. That's one of the most important things is just making sure that that thing is bedded down in there tight. You know what I mean? Yeah. To where it's not going to move. But also, you don't want nothing underneath this to it. Trips. Right, so it will actually trip. Yeah. Just want to make sure that's right. Yep. And then what's this one do? Flip over this way. It just flips back like okay. that, and then we grab another one of those. Sorry, man, I am starving. I am shaking. I haven't ate. Oh, man, give me both <laughs> Sorry, we'll so set this excited one. about trapping, I don't even <laughs> care about eating. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just like a, we're just kind of throwing this together just so I can give you the idea how to yeah. do this. And then next time we're out here, we can, uh, exactly. I'll have you set them up. Yeah, it looks like a piece of Swiss cheese right now. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> we're so hungry, we're thinking about cheese. <laughs> okay, now in this situation, I could dig up a little bit. This is what I'll do. I'll move all this out of the way. Yeah. Dig all this up. Make sure that's perfectly flat. It looks like it's going down just a little bit. Put some dirt underneath there. You just want to make sure it's right. Yeah. You want to make sure it's level. There we go. Okay. Now from here, get those leaves out of there. Shifter. A sifter. Yep. yep. It just takes some dirt and you can take your hand and kind of go like that. Come around here, yep. dig up all this dirt. I'm gonna get all the leaves out of there. You need some of this uh, wool? Yep, we'll need some of the wool. How much? Just, uh, just a little bit, just a little tiny bit. Enough Are they to put attracted some... to it? Oh, well, it's a natural smell, so it won't throw them off, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, got you. At least that's the idea, anyways. Yeah, because it's like an animal smell. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Actually, if you want to go ahead, dig that bottle out that I had earlier. Make sure you read it. I have a beaver one in there, and then I have a coyote. So get the one that says coyote. And then from here, I'm going to be careful. Don't push down on this. What's this one? That's the uh, urine that we're going to spray down. That's the last thing we'll do right there. Okay. And you want Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more dirt to cover that trap. That's good. Ooh, that'll work. And then we'll just take it, put it down there, 
push it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, and you're gonna spray it? Yep, that's the last thing we'll do. We'll spray the whole thing down. We'll just take these leaves, kind of, you want to build, you want to, I, I call it like a V. You want to lure them in, but you don't want to make it too obvious. Like you yeah, don't want to yeah, make yeah. a pile of sticks this tall and a pile of sticks this tall. They're not going to put their foot here because they're not, they're not going to want to put their foot on these leaves here. Yeah. You can put some sticks right there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some sticks out here. Give it a little spritz. And that's coyote urine? That's coyote urine, yep. Okay. That is like a long range attractant that's down in there. Yeah. So from far away, they'll smell that. Oh so, yeah, yeah. And then once they get close. They're gonna be like, oh, it's on marked territory. Yep, and then this will cover up our scent here. Robbie's getting some wood together. Got some light on in here and got the fire going in the wood stove. Fixing to cook up some grub. Here you go, smaller stuff. All right, thank you. I love this man. What? I love it. I love it too, buddy. That's why we're out here. Screaming kids. I ain't gotta listen to. Oh, this bill's due. Oh, God, you need to do this. Yeah. <laughs> so Ain't nothing matter out here, buddy. Oh, my goodness, right? Yep. Funny, I want to divorce. Why? Because I'm moving to 380. That's right. We're moving. <laughs> we're moving, buddy. And we're staying in the woods and not coming out. All right, we're going to let this let this cast iron heat up. And then we're going to. Oh, thank you, buddy. No problem. Read my mind, some sweet tea. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so while Robbie's getting some wood together for tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner. I've got some cube steak with some cream of mushroom soup, some corn, and some mashed potatoes. That's what we're eating tonight, and tomorrow I'm gonna make some uh, breakfast sausage and eggs and some English muffins. But I'm gonna use these, these are new, new camp tongs from Pathfinder. Uh, many tools in one, you have a spatula, a bread knife, you got a mixing spoon, and a spork. And then if you wanna turn them into tongs, they snap together like so. Got you some tongs. If you need to flip something real quick, flip it. And then if you need tongs, they just snap right back together real quick. And then when you're done, just snap them together like so. And they don't take up in, hardly any room in your backpack. So that's pretty cool. You'll be seeing a lot of this from now on. So from right now, I'm just gonna get some of this cube steak on here. Still a little frozen. This one's still a lot of frozen. That's okay because that cast iron ain't all the way up to temperature yet. So I'm going to give it a chance to kind of fall out the rest of the way. Hasn't been real, it hasn't been freezing, but it's been cold enough where I can just leave these out. And it's fine. Glad I got that big cast iron skillet and brought that with me. Got a full moon out there tonight on Halloween. Oh yeah. I forgot. Yeah, it was like. Uh, it's such cloudy because out here. Yeah. You can see every star on a clear night. Really? Oh yeah. I used to go out there and go cool with a blanket lay down. Heck yeah. Well, I do know that um, this is the first Halloween to have a full moon since like 1944 or something like that. Yeah. Pretty cool. about ready to drain these. Uh, I said we're about ready to drain these and then we'll uh, put the cream of mushroom soup on in here and then let it simmer for a good 45 minutes or so. 
Maybe shorter if depending on how hungry you are. I'm pretty hungry. Oh, same here, buddy. I kind of feel bad that you're getting all the wood collected while I'm sitting on my butt. No, but you're the food. That's the most important part. Food is important. You burn all the calories and I'll resupply them. Pretty beautiful. It is beautiful. Look at that. It's about done. I'm just waiting for that water for the mashed potatoes to boil. The corn's already done, so we'll be grubbing soon. Yeah, I know. I'm just enjoying the camping with you. Hey. Well, we, I made too much food. This is going to be a mess. You're just going to have to mix it all together that's like good. a champ. Oh my god, that's how I eat. All right. Ah, cheers. Oh, cheers, bud. Looks good. Probably should have let that meat go a little longer because it's not super tender, but oh, it's it'll good. work. It's fire. Mix it all together. I use my right side. Man, that's good. Nope. <laughs> there it is. I'm just going to cut it up and just mix it all together like one of those KFC Famous bows. Oh my god, I'm so far. Yeah, there you go. You got a bow right there. Do it. Oh yeah. There's one more steak in there if you want it, buddy. Oh, bud, this is... I'm full. Dude, I feel pregnant. Right? <laughs> no. Man, maybe next time I won't get the family size instant mashed potatoes. I'll just get the little one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mmm. That was good though, man. It don't look like it has much, does it? The it don't. Potatoes. It don't. Yeah, but it makes a lot. It did make a lot. It filled up that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm really glad I bought that coffee press because now I can use it for more than just making coffee. Oh, yeah. But, oh, man. I think we got enough wood for tonight. I think we just need to do a little cleaning up here, figure out what we're going to do with our, all our leftovers. Clean mm -hmm. the cast iron pot. And then snooze. What time are you leaving in the morning? I ain't sure. I can tell I'm gonna have no problem sleeping because it's not really that cold out there. No. It's actually kinda hot. I got all this wool on. <laughs> maybe too much. All right, now that we have settled down, which Robbie is still working like always, he's, he's just a hard worker. That's what he does. We're supposed to be relaxing, buddy. Our bellies are full. I like it. I like it too. <laughs> but I like sitting around doing nothing even better. But anyways, uh, on Instagram, I made a post uh, about how I took these Baby Bell uh, cheese wax whoop, and uh, made a candle out of them. I was just sitting there. I ate one of these and I thought, you know what, this is wax pretty much. I'm sure it'd be uh, useful as a candle. So I took some sisal rope and uh, just kind of wrapped this around it and lit it and it worked fine. I wanted to try an experiment here. I've got an empty dip can and I want to try to make a wick out of tulip poplar, the, uh, some inner tulip poplar bark. So. I'm gonna try something here. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna put this down like so. First, I may just wrap this completely around it. Oh, I may need to heat this up just a little bit to get it to form. Hold on, I got an idea. Let's just kind of smash it here. Okay, so I've got it kind of like that, and I'm just gonna continue to push down, kind of mold it to be inside of this dip can here. <clears throat> if it was warm outside, I could uh, easily push this down. I'm sure if I just shut the door to the tent, it'd, it'd be fine, but it's okay. We're just going to push this around like so. I'm really wanting to see how long this would last. I'm going to light it and just let it go and see how long it'll last. It'd be, see if it'd be great for an emergency emergency candle. Just something I can put in my pack and have. 
or in case I had some wet tinder that I really needed to have direct flame on my uh, tinder or fire lay to get it going that way and that way I'm not just holding on to that for a minute straight I can save the fuel in here just light this one time and place it into a fire lay until it goes all right I really want to get this to where it will shut with the lid on it okay I don't have it exactly center in there but that doesn't matter let's just see how it goes Still going. There it goes. Now I'm just going to let that sit right here and let that go for a while and see how it does. Yeah, if you guys eat these things, save the wax, you know. If you don't chew tobacco, which I wish I never started, but that's a story for another time. You know, maybe you have a buddy that chews, that dips tobacco, get a can off of them, have one of these in your pack. I'm always looking for stuff that I'm using anyways, you know, to have other uses. That's what it's all about, multifunctional. And I'm sure if I took a little extra time to get this more in the middle and kind of shape this to where it would feed this fire better, you know, it'd probably do a better job, but this will work in a pinch. Then when I'm done, take your lid, got you a candle, take the lid off. Where's my lighter? There it is. There you go. Pretty sweet. Candle's still going, man. It's a nice little emergency candle, you know what yeah. I mean? In case you need one. Yeah, that'd be black. Yep. Oh, man. It's about that time, don't you think? Oh, yeah. We had a good day today. Oh, yeah, it's been morning everyone it is 6.03 in the morning Robbie took off at about 5.30 this morning he uh, told me last night he was going to get up early because he had some things some work around the house he had to do so that's what he did he didn't stick around for breakfast that's all right we'll be out here again I'm just gonna heat up some coffee and cook a little breakfast on my butane stove here because I don't want to have to stoke back up that fire and get that wood stove hot again because I'm gonna break down the pipe and store it in here and close the flap on the uh, uh, wood stove jack while I'm gone so the uh, stove's still a little warm I'll be here for another hour and a half two hours or so so by that time that pipe should be uh, cold enough for me to take it down and break it down and everything but uh, yeah it uh, stayed pretty warm last night woke up chilly one time a couple hours ago threw a couple more logs in there and it didn't take long but I don't know if you can hear that or not with all this noise in here but it's pretty windy out there got pretty windy this morning so yeah, I got to get out there and check those traps. I like, like I said yesterday though, I don't, I'm not anticipating catching anything. That was mostly just 
it was mostly just a scouting trip, uh, you know, just practicing and showing Robbie a thing or two. He's really nervous uh, about being on camera and all that. So if he seems kind of like quiet or shy, that's that's his deal. He'll come out of that. It's kind of how I was when I first started all this thing, all this uh, YouTube stuff. So, man, that's already almost ready. Okay, so that's ready. Pour a little bit in here. There's just enough for a cup in there. That all to do. This is that new titanium skillet. I'm going to let that coffee set for a little bit and then turn this down. Because with titanium, the key is, is low heat. So, a lot of people say, you know, titanium, I burnt my food. Well, dirt. The only bad thing I can say about titanium is um, they get hot spots. So wherever that flame is, flame is touching, that's where it's going to be really hot. Where you, it's different than cast iron that kind of spreads the heat out and makes it even. This is pretty much you have to keep this heat just low and just slow cook everything. So we've got some Bob Evans breakfast sausage. I was anticipating. Robbie being here, so I didn't think I'd have to take much food back with me. <sighs> He's a busy man, though. There we go. I think I'll just um, cook up one of these things of sausage, cook up one egg, and then heat me up an English muffin, just have an egg and sausage muffin. What else do I got in here? I got some brown and served sausages. I may save those for next time. See, nothing, it's not sticking to it at all. So that's nice. Let's. I love this thing, man. This Stanley coffee press, it's freaking awesome. Look at that. Perfect. Turn that fire down just a little bit more. There we go. That's about as low as it'll get without shutting off. I couldn't find the camp table that I normally use when I put up the wall tent. I got this little folding aluminum table. Uh, but I couldn't find it. I have no idea what happened to it. Uh, so I just found this old chair in the garage that, did, that where the backrest had been broke off, and I guess this is the uh, official table for in here now. It'll work. Improvise, I guess. Well, there's two yokes in that. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's two yolks in that sucker. Yeah, that means good luck, don't it? It means something. Huh, maybe that means we'll have a decent trapping season this year. Mm. 
All right. Breakfast food, my favorite. That is good. Okay. Breakfast is done, coffee is done. I think for my 20,000 subscriber special, I'm going to uh, spend three days out here. I'll probably spend next Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I re that's what I really need to do with this tent. I can't just do, you know, I can't just come out here one night, set up traps, and then go out and check them, and then pull them because I have to go to work, you know, the next day. I need to come out here Friday, set some traps stay here Friday night check them Saturday morning if nothing's in them just leave them be stay Saturday night and check them Sunday because it gives me more of a chance to catch something uh, unfortunately when I go to work I don't get to come home that day I have to stay in a hotel so it's not like I can just set my traps go to work and then uh, leave them out there and come check them because by law I have to check them every 24 hours and unfortunately with my job uh, that would just be impossible so my real only chance is on the weekends um, I mean I guess I could come out Thursday night after work set up some traps I'm not sure mm, excuse me I got the hiccups now oh. I don't know, it's just going to be a challenge. Uh, I know last year, I didn't trap as much as I wanted to last year, but I only got one coyote all of last year. Um, I'm hoping to get something. It would be kind of embarrassing to have a series of trapping, uh, trapping videos and then not catch anything. But that's the risk I'm, I'm willing to take. You know, I know I can trap. I know I've trapped before. And... Uh, I've just got to stay confident that it's going to work out. I, between work, my uh, time at the Pathfinder School as an associate instructor, and everything, it's just been a real challenge for you know trying to find time for things. But we're going to make it happen this winter. I'm uh, like I said, I think next weekend I'm just going to come out here Friday, Friday morning. I'm going to set traps, leave them alone go out check them Saturday morning and I'll check them from a distance so most of where I put my traps are going to be in that valley and so I can just kind of stand up on the ridge and kind of peek over and see if there's anything down there so. but we're going to make it happen you know and if nothing does happen then I just hung out in a tent all winter which there's nothing wrong with that either Okay, something has been here because a little bit of this wool has been pulled out and I have little tiny footprints looks like a raccoon so a raccoon got his paw down in there pulled some of that sheep's wool out of there I can see a little tiny paw right there right here's my pan if I remember correctly right there so that tells me that at least this is attracting wildlife. So and that's another reason why I keep this screw right here really tight. That way it takes a lot more pressure to uh, push that pan down. See if I, if I would have had this really loose right here to where anything super light steps on it, I'd be out here letting a possum or a raccoon or something like that loose. 
and I'd rather avoid that if possible. But one good takeaway from this is it tells me that at least this is attracting wildlife. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my trap because I'm not gonna be able to make it out here until next weekend. I'm gonna smooth this all over and then when I come back out here, I'm gonna see if there's been any more activity, see if I can see some canine prints. But uh, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Um, if you wanna check out the gear that I use in my videos, please check out my Self-Reliance Outfitters link down in the description box below. Uh, you'll be able to find those new camp tongs that I just used in this video. And uh, that's gonna be it, guys. Until then, take care, thank you for the support, and I'll see y'all on the next one.